Hey guys, it's Kelly and today I am so excited to bring you a 2022 Acura MDX. This car has been fully redesigned and I cannot wait to show it to you. Special shout out to Frankly to Acura here in St. Louis for giving us the car for the morning. If this is your first time joining me, welcome. My name is Kelly and I'm the car mom. I review cars for moms and for families. Make sure you subscribe to my channel because I'll be posting a car a week and head to my Instagram for a lot more car related content. exterior again she's been completely redesigned and I absolutely love the exterior I think the front end grille with like the starburst and the beautiful Acura logo right there looks so nice together everything plays nicely into this front grille really brings your eye to it and I really feel like it catches your eye on the road so I absolutely love the exterior moving along to the side profile she's got so much beautiful chrome which I just absolutely love a great belt line that's very sharp but it kind of works yeah, I think the exterior is great. The wheels are awesome. I love it in this metallic color. Make sure you stay, stay till the end of the video though because I'm actually going to be building my own Acura MDX, talking through the different colors and trim levels that are available. Moving around to the back end, a little bit more simple, but still looks really nice, very sleek. It looks very updated without being too futuristic. So overall, I'm a huge fan of the exterior. All right, let's take a look at the driver's seat. So the interior in this car has been very nicely upgraded. I actually did an MDX tour. I think I did a 2018 MDX and I did not oh, love the interior. I'm very comfortable. Um, this is a more like a mid-size seven passenger. It's very comparable to what I think is something like the Kia Sorento, um, the Honda Pilot a little bit. It's a little bit smaller than something like the Atlas or the Traverse. So just so you guys know while you're shopping. The seats are so comfortable. They are very, um, squishy is probably not the right word, but they're very comfortable. I'm kind of sinking down into them. They're not too firm. They're kind of a sports style seat, so they're holding me nicely. The steering wheel feels great. It's completely wrapped in leather. And just the design elements in this car, I'm actually loving. I really like how they play with the different materials. We've got a high gloss black that goes into like this exposed wood grain and then some beautiful chrome elements, some contrast stitching. I think it all looks so beautiful, cohesive, but different. It looks very high end. The Acura is a more expensive vehicle. This one that I'm doing today has an MSRP of about 62,000. But again, make sure you stay tuned until the end of the video because I'm going to be building my own MDX. Side cubby time. Brought my Bissell vacuum. Link in the description box below. This is the best portable car vacuum out there. Charges with the USB. I use this all the time. It's okay. Like it's not the deepest side cubby ever, but it, it, it would, okay, that fits pretty good. It's pretty good. Pop the trunk from right there. Has a completely digital display, which I love digital displays just for the customization that it offers and it looks awesome. This one also comes with heads up display, so it's probably not gonna pick up on the camera, but basically I can see the speed limit and then how fast I'm going as well. I like it up here, I'm having fun. Oh, this is the best part, ready? Get a little closer. When I turn off the car, she sings songs goodbye to me. Whoa. Okay, let's get you in here and let's explore some of the driver's comfort features and some of the technology upgrades that come in this car. Um, so we've got, we'll start with this. This is the center council area. Um, I feel like they're using this space well. I think there's a couple things they could do a little bit better. Um, to start with this screen, it's not built in, it's an above display. It's not a touch screen, you have to use this little mouse pad down here. It provides this little wrist rest for you. It's not my favorite, I think it's a little difficult to use. And it talk. it's very noisy. I don't know, I'm sure you could turn that feature off. I think you would get used to it, that's what I will say. I just find that it's a little cumbersome and, I mean, it took me about three minutes to change the radio station, which I can't imagine like adding the whole driving aspect to it. Not obsessed with that, but I like everything else. I like how it kind of moves down here into like all of our temperature controls. We have our different driving modes right here. Love this, the shifter, it's like a freaking bop it. Like we've got twist it and pull it and touch it. So anyway, I just think that's kind of fun something different. Uh, moving on, we have a, this is where our USBs are, which I thought that was kind of a cute little addition. Just press this and it has a USB and a USB-C. We've got a 12 volt on the side right there, which is awesome. And then I move into like a little side cubby, which I currently have a lip gloss and what's lip gloss is this? Kylie Jenner. 
I think it's the literally color I'm wearing it today. Uh, anyway, that fits nicely in there. And then we've got two cup holders, which are a great size. I have my iced coffee room this morning, but like those cup holders are very large. This is the wireless charger. I actually kind of like this because I, if I'm going to charge my phone wirelessly, I like that I can still see it. Like some of the other ones, like especially in the Escalade, the wireless charger, you had to like put your phone into this hole and just assume it was charging. So I like that I can very easily see it. I think that's awesome. Moving on into our center council area, it's kind of like a double-ish area. So we've got like some place for quarters, you know, kind of a shallow compartment can fit a lip gloss and then you can open it up all the way and it's a little bit bigger. We've got another 12 volt and a USB. This is a size five diaper I brought for reference. So it's not huge, but I mean, it's not horrible, especially for the size of the vehicle. So overall, I like that. I love this. This is how easy it is to see the camera. You just press this button and it turns on your surround view camera and your backup camera. And then you can keep hitting it to check your side cameras. So like, that's so handy for like when pulling into a parking spot, all you have to do is hit that and it pulls up your camera. All right, so let's talk a little bit about the car seat setup because honestly, it's pretty awesome in this car. Across the bench, we have three sets of lower anchors, so one in each seat, and then every single seat has its own tether anchor, which is awesome. All right, so here's a shot of me between two car seats in the second row, and I'm actually kind of surprised that I fit. Pretty excited about this, actually. So I have a Graco Extended Fit installed forward facing here and the upper being Mesa on my other side, and I was able to buckle and I feel pretty good. Wait till you guys see what happens in the second row. I'll show you in a second. It's awesome. But as far as my amenities go back here, we have sunshades, got some lights, and then down here, I actually have an outlet. Two USBs, we have heated seats back here, and then we have vents down here. The vents are not on the ceiling, they're down here, but we do have our own climate control. Two leather back pockets. I mean, I'm fairly tall, I'm about 5'11", 6 feet, and I am fitting really comfortably back here. Also, quick thing about the headrests. All the headrests in the second row are movable, the third row headrests are not. Here's a shot of me in the second row. I have this seat set for myself and I have this seat pushed back as far as it can go. This seat is on a slide, so I can move forward more to give the third row some more room. And I meet somewhere in the middle. You can see I still have plenty of good knee clearance. Um, yeah, overall the seats are pretty comfortable. I wanna show you how you get into the third row. It's this little button down here. I love when the button's down here because especially if you have children, who let's be honest, are the ones accessing the third row. It's very easy for them just to press that. It folds forward. And there you go. All right, here's a shot of me in the third row. This is the seatbelt for the second row. No one get distracted. Eyes right here. I have some more room than I was expecting, honestly. So it's only, yeah, there's only two seats back here. So they're not trying to make it like a tight third. And actually I'm pretty comfortable, more comfortable than I thought. My head clearance is okay right here. I do hit a little bit of like a partition when I go back, but again, I'm super tall. Uh, this, my, right now the seat is pushed all the way back. So I don't have great knee clearance, but when we push the seat forward, I definitely have some more room. So depending on you know the sizes of your passengers, you can adjust the seats accordingly. I've got a cup holder on either side and our own USB chargers, which is pretty exciting. Um, no ventilation down here. looks like I just have some floor vents, so it would get a little stuffy back here. But overall, it would work. And I'm super impressed that both these seats have tether anchors. I think that's awesome. To get out of the third row, very easy. You just hit this little button, slides forward. And then, I mean, that doesn't look, then that's tight. Then I got to squeeze out of there somehow, but it is what it is. Okay, this has got to be one of the coolest features about this Acura MDX. So you can actually take this middle seat out and make yourself captain's chairs, just like you could on like a minivan. So and it's super easy to do. Like you don't even like need to unscrew or anything. So there's just a little, um, this tab pulls this thing down and then I just pull this up and this up. And that's all you have to do. So let me get it out of here. It's a little heavy, I'm not gonna lie. Oh my gosh, we freaking have captain's chairs now. That is so cool. Every car should do that. Every freaking car should do that. That is so awesome. Oh, there's no armrest though. Well, can't have it all, Kelly. <laughs> Give this video a thumbs up because I just took the middle seat out of the car. Are you kidding me? All right, so let's talk about our trunk space a little bit. So this is how much trunk space I'm working with the, with the third row up. One thing I really like about this car is you can actually take this thing and put it down here. Hold on, pause, pause, pause. So you have a little bit more of an indention, which kind of gives you actually some more trunk space and would like prevent your groceries from rolling around a little bit. So I'm a huge fan of that. Let's throw the Vista in there and see if she fits. So I think she just might. Watch your fingers, friends. That's not looking good. 
That's not looking good. That's... Okay, I'm really excited about this car right now. That's very exciting. That's with the third row up. Let's get a shot of that. So here is the trunk space that we're working with when we put that third row down. And look at that, we made our captain's chairs. We've really DIY'd this car. Another 12 volt. Some side cubbies right here, 12 volt. Love lights up here for when we're fumbling around in the dark, we can find our things easier. All right, so here we are. We're just driving the Acura MDX. I'm really liking the drive, honestly. It's a six cylinder, it's a 10 speed. The car shifts very nice, very smooth. It handles wonderfully. I really don't know if I can say enough good things about this car. I really just like it. I, th I wish the infotainment system was a little bit more user friendly, but besides that, it's very, it's good. It's very quiet. It accelerates nicely. And we were talking to the guy at the dealership about it because I always ask them like, what do you think? What trim level do you think is worth the most bang for your buck? And he said the base one. He says the base one comes with, it comes with the Pano sunroof. It comes with all the safety features like the adaptive cruise control, blind spot, um, frontal collision warning. So really when you have those safety features standard, all you're really paying up for is like some nicer interior features. So if you don't care about that and you just want like the functionality and the safety of the car, you get all that in the base. All right guys, so that is going to wrap up my 2022 Acura MDX tour. I'm so obsessed with being able to take this middle seat out because now I'm just sitting here on the park on a nice day catching some rays. This is the car to get. It comes with a free sun chair. All right, friends, let's build my very own 2022 Acura MDX. And if you hear any like squealing in the background, that would be my daughter, Hattie. So let's start with the exterior. So it comes in six different options that don't require package upgrade. These two do require package upgrades. I mean, I like some of the colors. Um, I really like, thought this navy was really gorgeous in this car, but you have to upgrade to the technology package, which I don't necessarily think is totally worth the upcharge for what I would look for in a car. So I'm actually just going to keep it with the silver, which is one of the free, free, one of the uh, colors that is not an upcharge. I also really liked this liquid carbon metallic. That's a $500 upcharge. This blue, I was so excited. I thought it was Carmon blue, but it's not. So I'm going to stick with the silver. I think it looks great. I think it really brings out the car's body lines and it looks very sharp. Um, as far as my interior is concerned, I only have the options when I choose the silver to go with black or with gray, which is just kind of annoying to me too. Because like to get, but if I get white, then I can get brown. Ooh, should I do that instead? I'm going to do that instead. I'm going to get the white and then I'm going to get this brown interior because I think that's really pretty. Okay, and then going down to my wheels, I'm just going to get the 20 inch wheels without an upcharge. I'm going to keep the uh, six. Well, there, you only have one option for an engine. It's a V6. I am going to upgrade to all wheel drive for $2,000. And then here are the different packages. So I'm actually just going to keep it with the standard equipment because I was talking to the guys at the dealership and I've done my own research. Standard, the car comes with all the safety features, a panoramic sunroof, a wireless charger, Apple CarPlay, blind spot, automated cruise control. It really has everything that I would look for, especially from a mom's perspective, looking for safety and convenience and comfort. Um, so I'm not going to add, add, add any of these packages. Everything else just kind of gives you like more interior upgrades to make the car a little bit more luxurious, feel a little bit better. You get some more technology, obviously, but since you're not really getting any more safety features, I'm just going to keep it as is. So that brings my... And then, you know, we have these silly things, which I'm not going to get any of those. Sure, I mean, you can get all weather mats if you'd like. So that's going to bring my MDX to an MSRP of 49.4, which I'm pretty excited about. So that's how I would build my 2022 Acura MDX. All right, I'll catch you guys next time. Make sure you subscribe and turn on that bell icon so you never miss a video. We'll be catching some rays.